bunch. <gasps> if you have a problem, pull this handle. It signals us and we arrive in the blink of an eye. Ready for training, my friends? Banzai! Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy! Your turn, Gilbert. I'll pass! My neck is stuck and hurts whenever I move! Oh, Gilbert, look there! Ah, I won't move! I wanted you to see the cloud in the shape of a carrot. It was pretty. Ugh, Patricia! Oh, don't be grumpy. You'll feel better. Uh, ah! oh. Huh? That fixed my neck! Feels wonderful! Ah! Come on, my friends. Duty calls. The Jungle Bunch... To, to the, the rescue! rescue! Ah! Good mission! <laughs> <laughs> Open. Hello, friend. What brings you to these parts? So, the famous great warrior Tiger. No need to introduce myself. You all know who I am. Uh... Esmeralda. I am the great Esmeralda, queen of the village by the river. Hmm. Uh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's me. Great Tiger Warrior, help me. My white crystal tiara has vanished. If I appear before my people without it, I will no longer be regarded as their queen. Just because of a tiara? I'm not speaking to you, little missy. And it's not just a tiara. It is the symbol of my great power and has been handed down for several generations. She's a bit irritable. She's kind of like you. Huh? Uh, I mean, the rare times that you are irritable. Uh. I no longer trust anyone because I know there is a thief somewhere close. Where did you last see your tiara? Every evening, I put it in a safe place, guarded day and night, the Yellow Cave. When I went to retrieve it early this morning, it had disappeared. The guards saw nothing. Unless the thief had passed through the walls, it's a mystery. The Jungle Bunch loves a good mystery. On the road, friends, let's go inspect that cave. That was certainly quite a hike. The Yellow Cave is over there. But I cannot walk through the village like this. They will realize that I don't have my tiara. Hmm. Uh huh. Hmm. I've got it. That's Reggie, the guard. He pretends to have seen nothing, but I'm sure he is the one who did it. Hello, Reggie. Have you seen anything unusual since yesterday? I stand guard with extreme vigilance. I do not sleep. I do not even blink. Never not once. Hmm. The only time I was gone from the door was for two minutes. That's when I went to fill my kettle of water and... I just saw you blink! Really, he blinked? He said that he doesn't even blink and I just saw him do it. <clears throat> Never mind, go on. Tell us every detail you can remember, from the top. When I returned with my kettle full of water, I remember passing by Carmina, who looked upset. I checked through the peephole to see if the tiara was still there. It was, so I took my position against the door and did not move all night. Mm -hmm. That lock next to you. Who has the key? Only me. Hmm. The room has no exits. Mm -hmm. And I can see the door is infested with termites. Your analysis is so detailed, Maurice. May I call you Maurice? Of course. Fortunately, that's my name. So termites have eaten the tiara? How dare you suggest that I wear a crown made of common lumber? Hm. My tiara is cut from the purest white crystal, crystal that can only be found at the edge of the lagoon. Termites do not eat crystal. And what is with the water bucket and mirror? The water bucket belongs to Roger the gardener, who looks after the yellow flowers. He always forgets his tools. As for the mirror, it was clearly left by the thief. Oh, look! Little flowers look all dry! This may be a clue. Termites, a mirror, withered flowers. Hmm, what could that all mean? I came to you to figure that out, you know. I hate my neck. Okay, let's review. The suspects are Reggie, the guard, but he never enters the cave. 
Roger, the gardener, but the queen is always there to open the door. And who is the person mentioned by the guard, Carmina? She is my personal beautician. She has always dreamed of wearing my crown. She must be jealous. She hates me. Surely it's her! Hmm. Esmeralda, you stay safe in here. We're going to talk to Carmina. Hello. May I ask you a few questions? I am innocent. I have done nothing. No one said it was you. No one said it wasn't you. But no one said that it was you. I look after the queen, so she always has a shiny coat and a fresh nose. I'd love to be as elegant as she is. The queen is so beautiful with her crown, but I would never dare ask her to wear it. I make mud-based treatments for Her Majesty. It works wonders on the queen's legs. Well, well. Looks like a mirror is missing from your home. Uh. Hmm? And this! What is uh. this? Aha! Uh. <laughs> Elementary! You use the fingerprints left by the queen in the mud so you can make a mold of her right hand, enabling you to enter the cave and steal the tiara! Uh. Don't let her go! Bonsai! <laughs> Carmina, what were you doing near the yellow cave? I made this copy of the Queen's hand. And last night, just when Reggie went to fill his kettle with water, I entered the cave with a mirror. I put the mirror down and I looked at myself with the tiara. Oh, I was so beautiful. Then I heard Reggie coming back. I got scared and I ran away. I was so panicked that I forgot my mirror in the yellow cave. Hmm. It can't be her. I remember Reggie told us he had seen the tiara only after meeting Carmina. Gilbert is right. You're innocent, Carmina. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> In your face, ugly potato. Hey, Roger the gardener. <clears throat> We'd like to ask you a few questions. What are you doing in the middle of my garden? You're on my vegetables. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> it's full of termites. But of course, the termites were in Roger's water bucket, and they dug the holes in the wood of the yellow cave door. Confess! You made it all up so that you could break down the door and enter its steal the tiara! Nonsense. Hey! I only go to the cave to water the flowers, and I would never do anything to harm my beloved queen. You just said my beloved queen, and yet you called her an ugly potato. Exactly. I was speaking about an ugly potato. I noticed that my weed killer with salt water was working just as I planned. Roger the gardener will allow no potatoes in the middle of salad. Mm. Oh. Well, if it's not him, then who stole the tiara, Gilbert? I don't know, and it's getting on my last nerve! Hey, the termite holes. But of course, I've got the solution! The faded yellow flowers, the white crystals, all the termite holes, the kettle! Eureka! Uh, Gilbert? Gilbert, where are you going? Ah, there's only one way to be sure of it. Oh, yuck, that must be full of germs. Don't worry, gang. Gilbert's very smart. He always has a good reason for doing stupid things. I knew it. It's salted. Do you understand? Hmm? There's no thief. Uh, uh, uh me does not understand. Reggie stands guard all night drinking his evening tea. His kettle remains on the fire, and that puts steam. Because the door is full of termite holes, the steam stuck under the awning goes through the wood. But that night there was a mirror in the cave and the steam formed condensation on the mirror and it slowly dripped all night on the tiara. And the tiara is made from white crystal, which is found only at the edge of the lagoon, a crystal more commonly known as salt. The salt water passes onto the ground, which then faded the yellow flowers. Esmeralda, your tiara was never stolen. It just melted. Well, that's some good news. Bravo, Bravo Gilbert. Gilbert. <laughs> melted? My tiara has melted? I will be rejected by my people and I won't be the queen anymore. <laughs> Come on, Esmeralda. Just go and explain it nicely to your people. But I'm not nice. They'll never listen to me now. The tiara was only an object. It's not what makes you a queen. Uh, go and speak to them. Huh? People of the banks, I have an announcement to make. 
Oh. I see. Oh. Just never oh. crown on. My tiara is gone. It's melted. According to our laws, you can banish me. Oh. 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 Goodness. We'll never do that. She's beautiful without the tiara. Huh? She'll always be our queen. Yeah. Yep, but she could be more friendly when she talks to us. Yes, that's right. She's not very polite for a queen. Exactly, and that ugly potato smells terrible. Oh. What? I was talking about this ugly potato, that's all. The queen is perfect for me, with or without a tiara. Well, I think it's that's true. Good. I agree. Well, you stay our queen, without your tiara. But maybe you'll be a little nicer to us, okay? Yes, I promise. Thank you, thank you. Thank you whom? Um, thank you, my dear loyal subjects. Yeah! <laughs> hey, Esmeralda, hmm? do us a favor and avoid tiaras and melt. <laughs> oh, Gilbert, stop teasing. <laughs> oh, my neck! <laughs>